Hey guys, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Kylie lip blushes in these three new colors. I have already done a review on Bikini Bod and Boss Bay in a previous video that's gonna be linked down in the description below if you're interested in looking at that. I also talk about the difference between the Kylie Cosmetics lip blush formula to the ColourPop's Ultra Blotted Lip. Timestamps are gonna be in the description below for when each swatch begins. I'm gonna be doing a lip swatch in this lighting, also outside. I got you guys. Now, personally, I'm obsessed with lip blushes. I think that it's definitely my vibe right now. I like something that looks really natural, easy to put on, and isn't really a lot of maintenance, so this is my jam. I personally use Bikini Bod all the time now, so I'm excited to have these three new shades up in my collection. So first up is I'm Blushing, and I'm Blushing is a soft coral red. So I thought I was recording this whole time, but it turns out I wasn't. <laughs> I love this color. I think this color is absolutely gorgeous on fair skin, and I think that it would be beautiful on darker skin tones as well. I think that this is pretty much a universally beautiful shade on a bunch of different skin tones. Now, this isn't something that I would expect for like a September launch, you know, it's the start of fall. This is the kind of color that you wear to me in spring, summer, or, you know, you still wanna be in that summer mindset and we wanna pretend fall's not happening. You know, I mean, I love Halloween, so I'm not gonna do that, but if you're like that, that's cool. I live in a very warm environment, Miami, so it's pretty much summer all the time. So I'm good with this, but I also think that the colors that came out with this are very natural looking. So they're, you know, usually fall is darker vibes, not as natural, very like vampy vibes, that sort of deal. So I did a kiss proof test. And again, let me just do it again. You see how it's blank here? The more you wait for it to dry, the more kiss proof it is. When I first did it, I had a little bit of transfer. So it's like 98% kiss proof pretty much. They will fade as you eat and as you consume beverages throughout the day. Usually what I do is I just pack it and I just place it on and I'm good to go. I think that the lip blushes are my new favorite formula because they're just so easy and carefree and very much my vibe. So yeah. On to the next. The next shade is Butterfly, which is a warm strawberry. You could keep me going, cause you've been everywhere. Let me take up all the love you're showing. I need it more than air. And you know that I've been suffocating. You could be the one to help. But my issues are nauseating. I don't wanna bring you down. I just wanna be free from the free. So I think that this color is definitely on point with the description, definitely a strawberry, absolutely. I think that this color, again, is really stunning. It goes with everything that I was saying where I feel like this color could look good on a lot of different skin tones. And it's just a natural vibe that you can pretty much wear any time of the year where you kind of just want your lips but like a little something more, you know what I'm saying? You do have to wait. I don't know, I always say about like five minutes before you start eating or drinking or anything like that because it's not 100% matte, but I think that this is a stunning color. Lip blushes feel super comfortable on my lips. They're not drying to me whatsoever, so I hope she definitely makes more colors. So the last color that I'm doing is cherry on top. Cherry on top is, of course, a bright cherry red. Me happy, but you've been on the road. Oh, I've never needed love so badly. I'm feeling so alone. And you know that I've been often dreaming of having you around. But my life is so complicated. I don't wanna bring I think this color is stunning, you guys. I am starting to love vibrant colors, and obviously this is a vibrant cherry, and it does not disappoint. Now, one thing that I wanna say is that you kinda need to put two coats of this on in order to get the maximum opaqueness, but it's worth it, it's very cute. I love it. I think that if I had to rate the colors, okay, 
I got it. I love all three of them, but I'm gonna rate it for you guys. So for fair skin, I'm gonna put I'm blushing as my number one. It was very close tie, but cherry on top is number two, and number three is butterfly. And now I'm gonna compare these colors to Bikini Bod and Boss Bay. Onto the swatches, I have Bikini Bod, I'm blushing, butterfly, Boss Bay, and cherry on top. Now, first of all, I want to talk about cherry on top. Cherry on top is completely different to the first four shades so i'm just going to disregard it for the rest of the swatch comparison now the top two i really want to focus on is bikini bod and i'm blushing now i would say that bikini bod is cooler toned and has more of a brownish element to it compared to i'm blushing next i want to concentrate on butterfly and boss bay Butterfly is lighter and definitely more strawberry red than Boss Bay, which is a little more crimson red and darker and a little bit more cool toned than Butterfly. And there you have it for your swatch comparisons. That concludes my video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and found it informational. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I always genuinely appreciate it. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. All you have to do is click my face right here and you can watch some of my other kylie cosmetics videos i got plenty you could also look at my kylie cosmetics playlist link down in my description below y'all know how it is i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day bye